Hello everyone, this is a video presentation from the students of Bioresource Technology, University Size Malaysia for the Awareness Campaign 2020. Do you know what is paper actually made from? In fact, paper is actually made from lignocellulosic fibers of wood and non-wood. There are many types of paper products. For example, kitchen towel, recycled note paper, corrugated board, baking paper, draws paper, tracing paper, paper bags, and many other more. Have you ever wondered what does the fibers look like? Fibers are elongate cells with tapering ends. It has very thick, heavily lignified cell wall. Fibrous cells are dead at maturity and function as support tissue in plant stems and roots. Cellulose can be found in the fiber cell wall. Cellulose fibers are long, linear polymers of hundreds of glucose molecules. These fibers aggregate into bundles which are called microfibers. Microfibers are embedded into a hydrated network of other polysaccharides. The cell wall is assembled in place. And now, let's move on to do some interesting experiments. The first experiment is the paper flower blooming experiment. The materials and apparatus used are F4 or color papers, scissors, marker pens, plate, and water. First of all, draw a flower on the paper and cut it according to the shape. Secondly, fold the petals of flower inwards as shown in the videos. Next, use different color of papers to make the flower. After that, pour some water into the plate. Now, put the flower in the plate. Can you observe that the paper flower is blooming in the water? Do you familiar with this experiment? And do you know what is the theory behind? Do you know how can the flower blooming occur? This process of water moving along the paper is known as capillary action. Capillary action is the ability of a liquid to flow in narrow spaces without the assistance of external forces. F4 paper contains fibers. There are tiny spaces between the fibers. When contact with water, water molecules move through the tiny spaces within fibers with the help of cohesion and adhesion. Hence, water can move upward and the paper become wet. Capillary action depends on the forces of cohesion, adhesion, and surface tension. Cohesion refers to the attraction of molecules for other molecules of the same kind. Adhesion is the attraction of molecules of one kind for molecules of a different kind. Capillary actions occur when forces of adhesion is greater than cohesion. When water flows by capillary action into the papers in the flower, paper fibers will swell. As the fibers swell, the petals start to move and growing upright. Next, we will look at the water absorption ability of A4 paper, tracing paper, and also sugar paper. First, put three types of the paper in the water at the same time.
As we can observe, the petals of apple paper and sugar paper move faster than the tracing paper. After two hours, the petals of tracing paper finally open. From this experiment, tracing paper flower blooms the slowest among three types of paper. The water absorption of tracing paper is slower than the A4 paper and sugar paper. This is because the fibers of tracing paper is close to each other. The spaces between the fibers are much smaller than the fibers of A4 and sugar paper. Hence, it limits the movement of water to move through the fibers. Do you know that tracing paper is stronger than normal paper? Here is a question. Can you give an example of capillary action occur in our daily life? Now let's move into our second experiment which is this integration between toilet and tissue paper. The materials and apparatus are toilet and tissue paper, bowl water and stirring stick. First, pour water until half of the bowl. Next, put a piece of tissue paper into the bowl. And leave it for 30 seconds. After that, use stirring sticks to stir for 30 seconds. Observe the tissue paper after stirring it. Repeat all the steps by replacing with toilet paper. As we can observe, toilet paper disintegrates faster than tissue paper. So, why do toilet paper can disperse quickly in water? Toilet paper is made with no additives, hence it is weak and easily break apart into smaller pieces when contact with water. In addition, do you know why toilet paper is designed to disperse quickly in water? The tiny pieces of toilet paper are to prevent the pipes from clogging and damage septic system and municipal sewer processing machinery. And why tissue paper does not disintegrate? Tissue paper contains wet strand additives to provide additional covalent and ionic bonding other than hydrogen bonds. Thus, it does not disintegrate easily when exposing to water. And now, do you know which types of paper is suitable for flushing? Thank you for watching the video.